G'day folks, just a quick update on this little condensing unit. Uh, you'd recall this was a part of a sort of under and over system that came off the top of a big commercial cool fridge, cool store fridge. Uh, this is the one that had leaking king valves. The king valves actually rusted through down here and I band-aided it with a bit of uh, radiator hose and a hose clamp. So, as you can tell, that leaked out after a while and I've since cut the unit out of its mounting and put it in for full overhaul. Well, there's nothing wrong with the compressor, it was all working, but it just had a leak. So, on oh, a dead fan motor too, that kept tripping the uh, earth leakage breaker. But I found a good fan motor from another dead unit. Um, relay, original relay is fine, but I took all that out before I washed it and gave another clean. Coil's pretty good, there's just remnants of old blue paint on the fins. Yeah, that's the old evaporator. I got rid of the mouldy old chipboard that was just rusting everything out. Capillary tube and everything sealed off. I'll replace all the wiring, replace the thermostat. Give all this another clean because there's still gunk down in there. And remount it somehow. Not sure if I'll go with the under and over system or maybe make it remote. I'll set it up in my bedroom like Brad's got his little thing in his uh, garage hangout room. I think his is about the same size as this, maybe slightly smaller. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, likewise, I'm going to convert this to R134A. It is a drop-in replacement for R12 as long as you change your compressor oil and other stuff. I'll do that when I've got the suction line off. I think I've got data on how much oil to put in these and I've got to cut this suction line anyway so I'll do that and drain the oil out through the from the out of the housing. Measure how much came out and compare it to the data sheet. Although obviously some's been lost, there's been a leak down there which leaked oil. Uh, yeah. But you can get drop in oil replacements and refrigerant replacements for old units like this one. This one used R12. CFC. Uh, probably find another dry for it as well. Although when I did cut the lines there was still about 1 or 2 psi of refrigerant in there. Just vapour. And it pretty much kept the air out. Like I sealed it up immediately so there's no air in there and no moisture. But I'll probably end up needing a R134A canister dryer, desiccant dryer. But that's not hard. I can get them easy enough. There's the old king valve. Things been sweating constantly when the unit was running. Damn it, don't drop the new one. It was leaking in there. That's what the bandage was covering up. It's actually rusted through. Yeah, that one's stuffed. And that's the used replacement. Much better. <laughs> Heaps better. I'm going to remember to lag it in cork tape this time. Prevent that sweating. Well, I've got the new fan motor in. Or second hand fan motor. Got good bearings in it too. Uh, I've got to wait till I get an oxy set and another replacement dryer before I do any more on this one. Or at least, I might as well oxy everything while I've got the set. I'll just clean up that bit down the bottom. And, uh, yeah, solder the new king valve in. I'll just use a joiner. Easy enough. It's probably one of three units that I've got that needs a uh, oxy set job. I've got that old uh, scope commercial drink fridge unit which needs a compressor change. I'm going to put an R22 compressor in it. It's got an R404A compressor which is like a drop-in replacement for R22 but with a new king val or new expansion valve orifice and an R22 compressor it'll be a lot easier and cheaper to run. Uh, likewise Brad's just picked me up a refrigerated air dryer, a commercial one. So I'm going to buy that one off him. And that too needs a new compressor, so there's another job for the oxyacetylene set. That's an R134A compressor, an old Kirby T2 
to come to Kirby. But I'll probably end up buying a Danfoss one or something like that and drop it in and see what happens. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more uh, hobby refrigeration videos. I've been meaning to do more of these.